Hello everyone, thanks for checking out today's Canva tutorial video. Today we're going to learn how to do margins in Canva, so let's get started. When designing something, especially book interiors, workbooks, paperback book interiors, etc., you might need to use margins to keep your elements in the right space. Anyway, we're going to first head on to the custom size button here on the home page. Um, choosing your unit here would be very important, by the way, because when we make our ruler visible later on, the unit on your ruler would depend on what unit you choose over here. I'm going to click on inches and I'm going to do 6 by 9 for today's video. So let's go ahead and create a new design by clicking this button. And now we're going to be taken to the Canva editor. Okay, so here we are. The next thing we need to do is to make our ruler visible. You can easily do that by pressing Shift plus R on your keyboard. And there you go, your ruler will be visible. But in case you like to know where you can find that option from within Canva, just go to the Files button here on the upper left and click on View Settings. From the drop-down, select Show Rulers and Guides. This is where you'll find that option. Okay, now that we have our ruler visible, it's time for us to add some guidelines. So just right click on your design page and from the drop down, click on guides. Click on one of these, whichever you'd like to add first. You can add a horizontal guide or a vertical guide. Let's do vertical guide first and let's zoom in and let's do um, 0 0.5. I'm just going to zoom in so that we can have better control of our guideline. Okay, so it's 0 0.5. Now let's add another one. So right click, guides, add vertical guide, and let's go over here. Just going to zoom in again and do that. Okay, let's now add our horizontal guide. So right click, guides, add horizontal guide. Let's zoom in. And let's add another one. Right click, guides, and add a uh, vertical guide. Oh, sorry. Uh, guides, horizontal guide, rather. Let's zoom in. Okay, that should be fine. And as you can see, we've successfully added our guides. So this is going to serve as our margin. Now that we've put all of our guidelines in place, it's time for us to lock them up so that we don't accidentally move them around as we create our design later on. So in order to lock them, we're going to right click guides and click on lock guides. And there you go, our guidelines have been locked. That means we won't be able to move them around. So we won't worry about accidentally moving them in place. By the way, in case you're done and you want to remove all of your guidelines, just right click again, go to guides and click on clear guides and all of your guidelines will be removed at once. And as you can see, all your margins good your margins all good, I mean. And once you add more pages, your margin will stay the same across all of your pages throughout your entire design. And there you have it. So we're going to try to create an example file, and that would be a paperback book interior. So you can design it however you want to and use your margin here as your guide as to where your elements should be. If you want to keep watching and see how I create my interior page, then feel free to do so. So the first thing I'd like to do is to 
add lines. So I'm going to press out on my keyboard. I'm just going to extend this all the way here. And I think as you can see, our line is too thick, so we can change that by going to the line style button on the toolbar above. And we can adjust our line weight through the slider or by inputting values over here. I think two would be okay. Maybe two is even too thick, so maybe let's try 1.50 or 1.5, and it should be okay. So I'm just going to make sure that it's centered, and I'm going to change its color by clicking this over here. So this is where we change our line's color. And let's change it to whatever color we'd like to use for our design. I'd like to use that one, and I'd like to duplicate it by clicking the Duplicate button. So I'm just going to do that, duplicate, 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 until I fill my page with, oops, okay, we've messed up. Just going to duplicate. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. We're not going to worry about the placement because we can actually fix that later on. Okay, maybe we could remove one. All right, so in order to fix our lines, we're going to select everything. And then we're going to go to position. And then we're going to scroll down and click on tidy up. And once you do that, your line will automatically be spaced by Canva. This is actually a very useful trick so that you don't have to manually make sure that all of your lines are um, equally spaced. And the next thing I'd like to do is to add um, just designs to my page over here. So I'm going to click on elements and I'm just going to click on shape, I mean look for shapes here on the search bar and use this one. This is actually my um, favorite to use. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to send it to the back. So I'm going to click on more position and to back. And I'm also going to change my elements color. Okay, I think that should be fine. And if you like, you can also add decorative elements to your page. So I'm just going to go to the search bar again and type in anything that I want to decorate my page with. Say, for example, cute. Go to graphics. And let's choose really cute elements here that, go, that would go well with our... Um, what do you call that? With our design right over here. Just going to make this one a bit shorter so that we could place it here and it'll still be within our um, margin. And let's keep on adding elements until we're happy with our design. Going to use this and send this backward going to click on to back and forward. Perhaps we can use this one and add it over here. I'm just going to zoom in so that we could have better control of our element. And I'm going to change its color to something else. Okay, how about that? I think it's okay. But I'd like it to be faint, so I'm going to adjust the transparency, and I guess that should be okay. Yeah, perhaps that's fine. That's it. We're just going to do something really simple today. And if you'd like to um, duplicate your page, you can just press the duplicate button here. So now we've created five pages, and if you like to 
create multiple, even more pages. So just click on grid view and then select everything or you can press control plus A on your keyboard. Let me just show you how to do that. So control plus A and it'll select everything. And then click on duplicate five pages so that it'll um, easily duplicate a lot of pages at the same time. Okay, so I'm going to go back now. I'm going to exit our grid view and we're going to save it. So we're going to go to share, download, select your preferred file type. But in this case, since we want to print it out or if you want to print it out, go for a PDF print. Choose the pages you want to include. Um, tweak all of these other download settings here according to your preferences and choose your color profile. You've got RGB and CMYK, but unfortunately, CMYK is only available for those with Canva subscription. Anyway, click on download and your file will be ready to go. And since we've finally finished our design, we can finally remove our guides. So guides and clear guides. And there you go. In case you want to undo it, just press Ctrl plus Z and your guides will be back. And I think that's it for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Canva tutorial videos. Thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you in the next video. And you have a great day.